Hello and welcome to Droix and our first video of 2022. Today we are taking a look at the brand new P2 Max 2022 Ultrabook by GPD. We will be unboxing it and checking out its features, then running some system benchmarks to see how well it performs and compares to other GPD models. As always, let's get started with the unboxing. Inside we have the GPD P2 Max 2022, which we will take a closer look at shortly. Underneath is the user guide, which is in Chinese and English. Inside the box is a USB Type-C charge cable. It will also come with a charger with the correct plug for use in your country. The GPD P2 Max 2022 measures 8.3 by 5.8 by 0.5 inches when folded and weighs 650 grams. The display is a H IPS touchscreen measuring 8.9 inches with a native resolution of 2560 by 1600. Towards the lower half of the hinge there is a built in 2 megapixel camera with a resolution up to 1600 by 900. To the right is the power button which has a built in fingerprint scanner for added security. There's a full chiclet style QWERTY keyboard which is very comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. Below the keyboard is the touchpad which has clickable left and right mouse areas. On the left side is a USB 3 port and 3.5mm headphone jack. On the right side is a micro HDMI output for connecting to your TV or monitor. There are USB Type-C and USB 3 ports. The P2 Max has the Intel Pentium Silver N6000 with 4 cores and threads running up to 3.3GHz. The graphics is handled with the Intel UHD Graphics 640 which supports up to 4K 60Hz via the HDMI output. There's 16 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM and 1TB of fast NVMe PCIe Gen 3 SSD. And for wireless connectivity there's Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0. The fan noise under high load reached 49 decibels whilst in average noise conditions. It's barely noticeable. Battery life is around 2.5 to 3 hours while running the Passmark benchmark on a loop. Sitting idle on the desktop we got around 10 hours. We start the system benchmarks with Passmark which runs a series of artificial tests to push the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to their maximum performance. The P2 Max 2022 scores 1958 which is a respectable score for this specification of Ultrabook. Next in our benchmarks is PCMark. This runs a series of benchmark tests across your typical day-to-day -day tasks. These include web browsing, video conferencing, working with office documents and much more. The GPD P2 Max scores 2646. Again, it's a good score for the specification with fast boot times as well. While the P2 Max is not a gaming ultrabook, it is capable of handling less demanding games on lower graphic settings. We got a score of 399. It's far from being the highest score, but not the lowest. We start the gaming benchmarks with Forza Horizon 4, which is running on 1280x720 on ultra settings. It scores 12 frames per second. We were quite surprised and were expecting lower. On the lowest graphic settings you can actually get playable frame rates. Next we have Street Fighter V running at 1080p on the maximum graphic settings. At the end of the first match we get an average of 11.6 frames per second. Changing the resolution to 720p with a mix of mainly low with some medium settings you can hit 60 frames per second. The Final Fantasy XIV benchmark runs at 1920x1080 on the highest desktop settings. We get a score of 1064, 
which is on the lower scale of performance. Here is a brief recap of the benchmark results. Overall, they are good scores for the Pentium N6000 series CPU. The P2 Max 22 is great for your daily tasks, for everything from web browsing through to working with office documents for example. And while it does not have the high performance of a gaming laptop, it handles media and some like gaming very well. Compared to the original P2 Max model, which has the Intel Celeron 3965Y processor, you can expect to see an increase between 200-300% to in performance depending on the task. It's definitely worth upgrading if you do have the older Celeron model. So now the latest revisions of GPD's laptop style devices are now available, let's compare them. The GPD WinMax 2021 is the high-end model, aimed for those that like to work and play. It has the overall highest benchmark scores with built-in gaming controls and is great for demanding workloads as well as demanding games. The GPD Pocket 3 shares the same hardware specification as the Max but is aimed more towards work use rather than gaming. Although there is nothing stopping you connecting a controller and enjoying some demanding games. It is however perfect for your day to day work tasks that can be demanding such as image and video editing. The P2 Max 2022 while not as high performance as the other two is more than capable of your day to day home and work tasks with a longer battery life than others. It is also lighter and more portable which makes it perfect for spending the day away from a power source whilst travelling. That wraps up our review of the GPD P2 Max 2022. We hope you have found it useful. You can learn more and buy it on our store at drawx.co.uk. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and we hope to see you back in our next video.